Welcome to Texas Tech TV. I'm Brian Jensen, voice of Texas Tech football. Be joined just a moment from now by the rest of the Texas Tech Sports Network radio crew talking about keys to the game for this weekend's big game between the Red Raiders and the Kansas State Wildcats. Big game because Texas Tech trying to get to eight wins for the season against just two losses and going up against a team in Kansas State that has kind of found itself over the last couple of weeks, a two-game winning streak coming into this one. My key is to be patient on offense. I think the Red Raiders really need to make sure that they control the football as much as possible. Yes, with the passing game and the running game, but to make sure that they don't try to get too much too quick, whether they're ahead in the game or behind in the game trying to catch up. I think this defense for Kansas State, especially in the last few weeks, has really come into its own. They've got the sack leader in the Big 12. They've got one of the best safeties in the Big 12, interception, one of the interception leaders in the conference. And so you can't afford to do risky things against this team because if they do get a hold of that football on a turnover, as we've certainly experienced against the Wildcats in the last couple of years, they know what to do with it and can turn it into a quick six. Let's find out what the other guys in the booth think. They're over at the United Spirit Arena for some basketball coverage this week. Guys? Chris Lovell, John Harris here. Keys to the game, Kansas State game this weekend. Mr. Harris and uh, this football team needs a win. Oh, they need a win in the worst way possible. And, and I know you've got to play well on, as they say, all three sides of the ball, offense, defense, and special teams. I've got faith that the Red Raider offense can do what they need to do. But I think a couple of games ago, the Red Raider defense got exposed in terms of not being that great of a run-stopping defense. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State each about 280 yards in those games against the Red Raiders that, that we did not win. I think Matt Wallerstedt's defense has got to find some way to slow down Kansas State's running game. A great big experienced offensive line, big fullbacks, quarterbacks who can run, and running backs who are dangerous too. They've spent a lot of time this week working on that. I just think it's got to be successful. they got to find some way to plug up the gaps up front, make it difficult for K-State to run the football, get them into a throwing situation because it's not what they do best, but they can't run the ball, control the clock, and control the game. Easier said than done, right. for sure, yeah. Uh, you know, to, to me, I think that what we've seen from this team the last two weeks is they haven't been able to get things going very fast on offense, kind of sputtering around in the first quarter. And it makes me wonder how different that game would have been last week if that first play to Jakeem Grant would have been completed. He's still running somewhere free <laughs> right now. Um, you, you don't get in a 21 nothing hole. So to me, I, I think it has something to do with a, a fast start. Now, I, I don't know if that's just execution, if it's something that Cliff can do from a play call, Whatever it may be, just be sharper from the get-go because I think, again, if you do that, it takes Kansas State out of what they kind of like to do and what they're comfortable with because they start having to throw the ball and, and do some of those things. I think that they'd love to see – now, Blake Bell proved them wrong, but I think they'd love to see how Jake Waters and Daniel Sams were in third and eight, third and nine, third and ten a bunch of times, especially in Lubbock, Texas, when the crowd's kind of in it and all those things. So, you know, the other stat that I, I, I saw earlier this week was – when this Kansas State team scores 30 or more, they're 4-0. When they're held below 30, 0-4. You know, so I will kind of watch that number right there. But Well, a lot of things. A lot of emotion in this game because it's yeah. the last time at home this season, last time at Jones AT&T Stadium for a bunch of seniors, and then all of the military goings on that are part of this game as well, uh, and the special uniforms. There's just a lot of things, I think, that are in the Red Raiders' favor emotionally for this ball game, but still, I think, from the defensive standpoint, can't let them run the football and, like you say, need to get off to a good start, get in front, make Kansas State chase you. There you go, Mr. Harris, Mr. Lovell. Back to you, Mr. Jensen. All right, well, we'll be back together again in the booth for the football game, the Red Raiders against the Kansas State Wildcats Saturday. It's an early one, as you know, 11 o'clock kickoff here at Jones at and If you're going to watch the game, be sure to listen to the Texas Tech Sports Network crew, won't you? This, of course, has been Keys to the Game. Thanks for watching Texas Tech TV.